So we will discover C in this lesson l'infinitif passé utilisé avec après. So let's start right now. Après can be combined with what we call infinitif passé. So I, I can anticipate some big, big eyes <laughs> from some of you. What is un infinitif passé? And then you think that there was only one form of infinitif. Well, this infinitif uh, concept is quite interesting because clearly we've got two different forms. Okay. So, for instance, if we take an example with the verb faire. Faire, it's the, inf I mean, when I'm talking about the uh, infinitive form, l'infinitif, in most of the cases, we are talking about this présent. So, faire is this infinitif présent, and in English, it would be to do. Okay, so it's the present form of this infinitive. Because it's possible also, if you think about that, to have the same thing uh, in the past. So, avoir fait is what we call infinitif passé. And if you think about that, it's exactly the same thing in English, having done. So technically, how do you make it? Look, you first, well, you should know whether faire, when you are using it with a compound tense, if it goes with avoir or if it goes with être. In most of the cases, verbs are use, using avoir. And in that case, faire is like among them. So you put avoir in the basic form so infinitive infinitive present avoir and then your faire you will have to put what we call this participe passé remember participe passé of the verb faire is fait if it's not clear if you don't remember go to the video there is a big video covering all the participe passé how to make them so you'll find your answers But so this is the reason why you end up with avoir fait, having done. So this form is clearly infinitif passé. So we'll see exactly how it works. Look at this example. Après avoir travaillé toute la journée, il a voulu prendre une douche. So, after having worked all day, he wanted to take a shower. So, as you can see, in the first part, we introduce this après, and then after that, as we saw, we go for this infinitive passé, avoir travaillé. So, it, it does give us the freedom not to introduce uh, the, the, the person yet, because the person will be introduced in the second part, Il. So now we've got the subject, we know exactly who we're talking about, and then I've been putting right after this uh, passé composé. Il a voulu prendre une douche. Okay? Après avoir travaillé toute la journée, il a voulu prendre une douche. Look at this one, because this one is interesting too. Après avoir menti, tu devrais avoir honte. After having lied, you should be ashamed of yourself. So I've been putting now in red devrais. You can see that in the previous example, it was not a surprise. I have been putting in red a voulu, and it was not a mistake. It means that, and it's really interesting, because it means that It's possible to put not only the past in the second part, but like here, we've got this conditionnel present form. So it's not only in the past, you can see that we can play with the tenses and we can play with the moods too in the second part, like we do in this example. Après avoir menti, tu devrais, you should, this is the conditionnel present, hein, avoir honte. So let's see now another one. Après être allé à la gare, j'ai dû aller à l'aéroport. After having gone to the station, I had to go to the airport. Same thing here, I just wanted to put the passé composé one more time, just uh, for the pleasure of it. The next one, après avoir fini son entraînement, il prendra une douche. 
after having finished his training, he will take a shower. So you can see that in that case, we're playing with the future. Okay, so, so far, keep in mind, we've been having passé composé. We've been having conditionnel présent. And now we can see that it's even possible to put the future. Remember, first part, après, is followed by avoir fini. So this is this infinitive passé. Hein? Let's not forget that. Après être allées au sauna, elles ont sauté dans le lac. After having gone to the sauna, they jumped into the lake. Okay, you can see that in that case, I've been using aller in the first part. Aller, remember, is among these verbs um, who are using uh, être and not avoir. So that's the reason why you've got for this infinitive passive form, être and not avoir, as we had previously. And uh, this one too. Après s'être invité chez toi, il a demandé s'il pouvait passer la nuit sur ton canapé. After he invited himself to your house, he asked if he could spend the night on your couch. So as you can see, I've been even putting here, the verb is s'inviter. S'invite, it's a pronominal verb, so it means that it should be with se. And it's also possible to put this infinitive passé. Remember, all the pronominal verbs will be conjugated with être. So this is the reason why here you've got se. Obviously, e is going away, you put the apostrophe. Then être, infinitive. And after that, invité, past participle, après s'être invité chez toi. Ok. Après avoir fait le tour du monde, il va rentrer chez lui. After having gone around the world, he's going to go home. So the, the, the English one is a bit heavy. He's going to go home, I know, but uh, uh, in French it's okay. I mean, il va rentrer. It was just to show you uh, that even this, this fake future, this future proche, uh, uh, the one that you construct with aller and then the infinitive, it's possible to play with that. Okay, so we, we already covered, remember, passé composé, we saw that it's possible to use the conditionnel, the real future, and now this future proche to And uh, the last one, après avoir chanté toute la soirée, j'ai mal à la gorge. After uh, having sung all night, my throat hurts. And in that case, it's the present. So you can see that using these structures are, I mean, it's not really exceptional. It's not, I don't think it is especially uh, difficult. So remember, après, then after that, you will have to put this infinitive passé then in the next or the second part remember to put something that makes sense so it means that there are many things possible but obviously you need to follow uh, a certain logic voilà merci